how to relate to each other. According to thought process, we should know. How thought process, even thought process without a space knowledge cannot understand. So, okay, now, about mana. These chitta-seekers, according to four points, we should, we should study according to four points. Now I give only one point. Only one point. What is the four points? Characteristic. From the point of characteristic, lekhana. From the point of function, rasa. From the point of manifestation, pachupatana. From the point of proximate cause. Each phenomenon should study from the point of four. Now I give only one point. Only one point. That is a characteristic. Only characteristic. I didn't explain the function. I didn't explain the manifestation. I didn't explain proximate cause. But if you wish to know, if you wish to have further study, you should read Vissodhimeka Kanda Netesa, the expositions of Kanda in Vissodhimeka. But without this knowledge, you may worry about it. So, but after attending this class, maybe you your knowledge is more, your knowledge is increased more and more. You may understand more and more. Because of, you have a base knowledge. You know. Slowly, slowly we can increase our knowledge. Okay? So, study the natures of mana. Mana is a translation conceit. So we should know what is conceit. Dealing with one's ability, dealing with one's ability or capacity, one thing more, one thing, one considered, one considered one's ability more and more. That is a mana. That is mana. That is two types of mana. Yatawa mana ayatawa mana. There is True conceit, untrue conceit. True mana, untrue mana. Some people also have a no ability, but he think I have a no ability. So that is untrue mana. I know everything. I can do, but in practical, practically he cannot do. So that is untrue mana. That is called ayatawa. Pali a yatawa. Y a t h a v a. Yatawa. A yatawa. A means with the negative. Negative. A yatawa mana. This is an untrue conceit. Untrue bright. Untrue mana. True mana means one has ability. By learning, by studying, he has really ability. He has ability. Qualifications, he has full of qualification. <coughs> Depending on his qualification, he considers himself, I know everything. I know everything. That is a true mana. True mana. Like a Vinarivo Anuruddha. In the river of you see, I can see thousand universes with the mind by eye. That is true. There is also mana, considering one's abilities and more and more. That is mana. Such a mana can disturb to for high attainment. When the mana is more and more, that person cannot bow down, even respected person, even venerable person cannot bow down. 
My knowledge is better than you cannot bow down. You cannot pay respect. I'm a meditation teacher. I know everything. So I'm a master. I'm a professor. Like that. Thinking such a thing. You cannot bow down. That's because of my. So because of my. So. This mana is associated with the law of mood because of considering oneself too much with the craving. Mana arises with the craving. Because of lava, mana arises. Mana ever associated with the lava, not associated with the dosa. It is associated with the only lava. So lava, deity, mana, these are three associated with the only lava. Then, number nine, do, number eight, eight, dosa, esa, macharya, kukucha. Dosa, hatred. That is no, not necessary to explain in detail about the dosa. Okay, that is very clear for people's dosa is very clear, hatred. Hatred. But not only hatred is a dosa. We should understand fear also does. Fear. I'm afraid of ghost. That is also does. I'm afraid of ghost. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of dog. That is also does. That is weak. Does is a two. One does harm to others. The other does harm himself. Because of Fear, Vasas, tortured himself. Is it that? When Dosa, strong Dosa, is tortured by others. Fear Dosa, hatred Dosa, is tortured by others. Fear Dosa, is tortured in his mind. He is always afraid. Fear. Cannot cry. Cannot, cannot live a peaceful life. Always he is frightened, fearful, always be fearful, always fear. There is a pause. Isa, jealousy. Isa, jealousy. Jealousy means the, towards the other's success. Isa arises. Towards the other's success. Thinking about the other's success, jealousy loses. Not the thinking about himself. If one compare with his, his own success and other's success, other's success is much better as he jealousy loses, rises. For example, there are two students. They are close friend. One pass examination, the others fail. So the person, the student who failed, within the person who failed, jealousy rises to the past to the person who passed in some examination. That is a jealousy. So there is a body, it is a god, it's the person who has a son cannot praise others, cannot praise. Always such a always a final fall. He said like that the person who passed examination is cheated. <laughs> He's cheating, he said like that. Cannot praise. He was a hard devil, he passed, I cannot say like that. So there is a jealousy, because of jealousy. Aisa. Macharya is a different way. Macharya means depending on own success. One whose life is successful, he cannot share others. For example, one has one has great knowledge, he cannot share others. 
because he want to keep high esteem. He want to keep high and knowledge. Just like to share others. If you share, the other people also know his not the other people also have such a knowledge, they will be the same level. So he doesn't like the same level. I must be always a group. <coughs> so that is Macharya. That's Macharya. So in test days, Macharya is explained in five kinds of Macharya. Five kinds of Macharya. Some people also gained something, they gained something. Regarding to the gain, the only to other people gained, other people gained such a thing. Not to let the other gain. For example, one businessman succeed. He collect a lot of money. So two companies, two companies, one company is in business is succeed, the other company is not succeed, for example. The other the, the company which is succeed just like the other company succeeds like that, like like it. He, the company alone, wish to be successful. That is a macharya. Macharya means he cannot share one's quality, cannot share one's uh, knowledge, cannot share one's dharma, cannot share with the others. That is a macharya. If he knows something, he wants a secret. Not share other people. If you share only a little, not everything. There is a goal. And many teachers in those days, they keep back, that is, keeping in the fist, actually a motive. They keep some point, they hide some point, never talk about others. Never talk about others. To wider competitions. That is a goal. Much earlier. Much earlier. In test, in much earlier, Awasa much earlier. Awasa means dwelling place or shelter. One stage, one big building. For example, one lip, one state in one building. When the other person come to stay there, it is like. Sometimes uh, the idea of privacy is like a macharya. <laughs> that is in my private rooms. You see, just like to let the others in. <laughs> This is my private <laughs> So there is a call, Avasa Macharya. In Myanmar, there yeah, we, we meet sometimes on the train. On the train, the seat is for two persons. For two persons, one seat is for two persons. But when he wants to sit alone, therefore, he plays his uh, luggage. Uh, bags on the on the seat, just like it to let sitting near. Some people are spreading his thing, thumbs, <laughs> spreading his thumb, <laughs> just like it to to pay others a chance. That is our samacha. This is like to share. There is our son. There is associated with the Dwasa. These are associated with it. Because of hatred to others. Hatred. 
Hector Canales. Hey Canales. People of mine is very funny, you see. <laughs> mine is very funny. Maturity. Therefore, many types of mental states are explained. You see. And you may be in there many types of many different types of mental state. There is a mantra, awas kula. Kula means that most ready we can talk about it. talk about it. monks. Monks have the devotees, the lay devotees. It is my daika, my daika mas, my, my pupil, my disciples. So if it is daika, this diagama approached the other man, that man's a dislike. Dislike. His mind diagama can only mind me, only to me, not to other sayanos. <laughs> that is a kulamat, kulamacharya. That is kulamacharya. As they lay people, how do you say? Yes. Almost every people also have close friend, intimate friends. <laughs> if one intimate friend or close friend associated with the other person, dislike. Dislike. There is a Kula Macharya. Lava Macharya means depending on K. One K do many things, K is many things. He dislikes the others again, okay, such a thing. There is a lava panchari. Lava, N A L A W B N A B H A. Lava. Lava means again, something received. So lava. Lava panchari. Awasa. A. We are, we a, a, a with the diacritic marks, okay? Awasa, it's like that. This is the shelter of building. Kula. Family, literally, family or person. Lava means gay. <coughs> One name is Judy. Dhamma. It's a Dhamma. So, so in Atatsalini commentary on Tamasangani explained in this Macharya, by kinds of Macharya. In other commentaries also. Whenever they explain the Macharya, they explain it this way. Awasa, Kula, Lava, Wanda. Wanda means Miss Universe. Miss Universe. They want to keep their position always. <laughs> Her duty to us. She alone the most beautiful God in the world. That is one of it. Another is fame also, one fame. Yeah, reputation. Fame, reputation. One wish to reputation. Fame or fame or reputation. That is also one of the 
Vasa, who is famous, the most famous in the world, he wants to keep his position. Just like it to share others. That is one Namacharya's great reputation. He is well known, one not well known. So, that is also one Namacharya. Dhamma Macharya means recurrent to Dhamma. Recurrent to Dhamma. If someone knows Dhamma, he dislikes to share others. There is also, some people also have Dhamma Macharya. <laughs> yeah, some people. They want to remain as a guru. The great gurus want to become guruji. Only Dhamma is the he doesn't like it to share others. That is a Dhamma Macha. Dhamma Macharya is included in knowledge also. The one does not dislike it to share the knowledge with others. That is also Dhamma Macharya. <coughs> so, such a Macharya with the dosa, associated with the dosa. Kokucha. Kokucha is remorse. Kokucha remorse means depending on depending on that what you have done, what you have not done. For example, and the other days he had done many evils. He did many evils. <coughs> so evil. After that, about his evil, what he had done, he most closer. Or oh, I'm proud. So there is a knowing as a I'm and wrong is okay. But worry about it is not okay. That is worrying about it, Kokocha. Regret is must be better. Regret means knowing that is not correct. It's but it should. For example, one have it done, one have it done evil. After that, he know that it should not be done. I'm not wrong. That is a good thing. That is a not kokucha. Kokucha means worrying about it. What have it done? About what have it done? That is a useless, useless. What you have done cannot be undone. So to remove go go chan, what to do? So I apologize, but I mean, it choose me, I'm wrong. Openly apologize. I apologize to the others. So on this way we can remove we can remove worried. Monks, you see, when monks violate media rules, uh, when they have violated media rules, they approach another monks and confess. That is to remove worry, to remove kokocha. Openly talk about confession. Confession means uh, something, something wrong I have it done, something wrong I have it done. Later I will, I never do such a thing, promise. So there is a to remove kokucha, to remove kokucha. But not to remove evil. What you have it done cannot be done. Some people also, Regarding it, they have a wrong view. If we have a confession, all Akusalas has a gone. No, Akusalas remain. Akusalas. Because of what you have done cannot be under. Cannot be under. But, it's, that is the only the way. Confession means, confession is for the purpose of 
not to let remorse arise. Not to. That is, because of sense and confession, we are happy. We are happy about it. I confess, I apologize, and therefore, <coughs> otherwise, you see, the remorse remain in one's heart. That is, increase even more and more. If I apologize, says and then no remorse in my sense. But when he have done Akusala evil and moral state, it's have done, already have done, it's accumulate. It's accumulate. If you have a chance, it will affect. It will affect. My condition cannot be removed Akusala. Akusala is a can be removed only Kusala. If it's so, how to escape from Akusala? How to escape from Akusala? By cultivating Kusala more and more. That is the only way. That is the only way. By cultivating Kusala more and more, Akusala can be we can escape from Akusala. Kusala, Akusala, Kusala is stronger than Akusala. If we accumulate Kusala, you see, Angulimala escaped from Akusala because he can eradicate all mineral defilements. He attained the highest level of Kusala. Therefore, all Akusala has no chance, have no chance to produce their effect. We can isolate, we can isolate any evil. That is also the only way. Like that, disease can be controlled with the medicine. Through medicine, we can control disease. Diabetes, diet, yes, high blood pressure, so it's control. Not only medicine, we can control with the mind also. With the mind also can be controlled. The Buddha controlled his disease with the mind. You see, the ten months earlier, that ten months earlier, when the Buddha passed away, ten months earlier, the Buddha got a severe illness. The Buddha got, got severe illness. This, this is incurable. Incurable. The Buddha's disease is incurable. So the Buddha gave a treatment this his illness by mind for ten months. If the Buddha wish to remain, wish to live more and more, he can continue. Therefore he the Buddha said, Ananda, I established very well Chanda, Viriya, Vimansa, Chaitya, Etipara, Etipara. The way of succeed, success, a deep art, the way of miracle, the way of mental power. The means of mental power I successfully practice. Therefore, if I wish, I can extend, I can sustain in my life. The Buddha said, So, through Etipara, Chanda, Viriya, Viman, Sanchet, through Etipara, Etipara is for Etipara, Chanda, wish. Chaita means mind, Viriya is effort, Viman, means examine knowledge, knowledge. If these are, if they increase, if they develop, using them, through the power of them, 
One can extend his lifespan. Extend his lifespan. One can cure his any kind of disease. Any kind of disease. Therefore, the Buddha, the illness without medicine, the Buddha not control his disease with medicine. The Buddha controlled his disease through mental power, Etibara, through Etibara. You can read about it that Mahaparinibana Soda, Artika Nikaya, Mahaparinibana Soda, Artika Nikaya, M-A-H-A, Maha, Pari, P-A-R-I, Pari, and I need the repeat pa and a na neva mahabri neva na soda artika nika. This is so that is mentioned in the Buddha's power. So for ten months of the Buddha cured with the metro power his disease. The Buddha cured his disease through metro power. After that the Buddha keep up. That is like that the Buddha never take medicine. The Buddha never used mental power since then. The Buddha abandoned. When the Buddha abandoned, his health is declined. After that, the Buddha and passed away. The Buddha did not control the mind. So in Mahabharini Manasa. Therefore, mind is also very important. Mind is also important. Not only che, not only Utu Ahara, mind is also important to protect our life. Nowadays people also understand about that. You see, diabetic uh, high blood pressure is not only because of Food, it's because of mind also. If if we keep peaceful mind, if one keep, keeps peaceful mind, mind peaceful, we can control that high blood pressure also and other diseases also. So therefore, this is one condition, cause and condition. To remove it. Many, many people are worried about something. So worried about something, remorse. So to remove the it, there are ways. This is a cha is remorse. What you have done, what you have not done. What you have done, what you have undone. Regarding to what you have done, good. Uh, evil, what you have undone, good. Remorse arises. This remorse is useless, just torture in one's mind. So therefore, we must remove kokucha. This kokucha is associated with the dosa. Associated with the dosa. The next one is tina and meta. Tina and meta is soft and proper. These two natures are always associated with one chaitas. In my opinion, and not only my opinion, I'm depending on referring to Dhamma Sangani. What are Tina Vedas? What is the different Tina Vedas? Chitta sa kilinyata Tina, Kaya sa kilinyata Veda, and Dhamma Sangani is hell. So, Tina means. My origin, body effect. Tina is my origin, body effect. Meta is body origin, my effect. Like a widow. Like a widow. So if it's, if we explain in this way, it's, it's, I think it is logical, this animal. Some people also feel so 
physically he is active, but he feels mental tiredness. With mental tiredness, I'm willing to do everything. So that is a tina. Some people's essay mind is okay, but physically is tired, body tired. That is also cause to affect. It it affect minds also because our mind and bodies relate each other to each other. So tina tina is. Uh, mind, origin, body effect. Meta, body origin, mental mind effect, we must have seen. Therefore, only Tina, only Tina, as a mental defilement, Kilisa, only Tina, not Meta, they are. That is the reason, maybe. That's my opinion, okay. When I was young, I was searching for Tina meters always together. Why Ankylis are meta not mentioned, only Tina? Because of meta is body origin. Body origin. Mental effect. Like in Somanas, Sukha, Somanasa, Dukha, Dominasa, like that. Vedana, like Vedana. Tina is my origin, body effect. Both are effect, origins are different. So there is a Tina Veda associated with the Lova Mula and Dosa Mula, both. <coughs> then the last one is Vichikecha. Vichikecha is a doubt. What about the Tao as in Western sense? Tao is good or bad? Some people should think this Tao is good. Is it that? Which gauge According to literal meaning, which gauge means that? What is the English word? Indecision. Hmm? Indecision. So Indecision. Another, another word is uh, skeptical. 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 I like it complicated, the word is skeptical. Skeptical. <laughs> that means, uh, literally, it's which kecha means. If uh, someone examine. It's more tired, mentally more tired. We don't, cannot decide. It's a cause to mental tiredness. Which gauge? Insecure. Insecure. Indecision. Indecision. But someone can hear about that. Not being able to decide, that's indecision. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's such a nature. One word I forgot this in English. Go with me. What do you like? We see cases are show three below which patient I know. Complex. Complex one. Complication. Complication. Complex one. Complexity. Complex. Publicity. Yeah, public. Publicity. Complexity. Yeah, that is a sound scholar I use this one. Complex. Cannot design? Confusion. Confusion. Doubt means I cannot choose something. Indecision. 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 <laughs> cannot choose something. Uh, in Bali is Dweda uh, Baton. It's metaphorically used Dweda Baton. Two ways. Huh? Dilemma. Dilemma is how it's done. Dilemma is how it's done. You see, 
This is uh, Bali, another synonymous term is a Dweda Vata. He cannot know his uh, in the, in the, what is it called here, injunction. One cannot decide this way or that way. Such a nature, such a nature is a call which you get. Wasting time, that is the meaning. Which you get is a waiting time, wasting time. Cannot decide which is way or which is not. 2,500 years ago, the enlightened one, the Buddha's appeared. Is it true or not true? Who know about that? But his teaching is a lead to the permanent stable peace or nirvana. That is also true or not. This cannot decide true or not. Katangato, another word is katangato. Katangato means katan means how, how. He always questions how, how. Is correct or not, true or not. Wasting time cannot decide what is the true, cannot decide. That is Vichikecha. Vichikecha means such a one. So another definition is Vichikecha means, Kecha means a cure. Cure, cure, keyword. This is like keyword by knowledge. We, Chikecha, Chikecha means a keyword, keyword by knowledge. We means absence of cure by knowledge. That is a no, no new treat, no knowledge cure. That is a mean. There is an incurable by knowledge, not, not cured by knowledge. There is absence of knowledge, metaphorically used. Which gecha means absence of knowledge. Therefore, cannot decide, cannot know what is a true, what is not true. That is which gecha. When Sotabana, when the person becomes Sotabana, he is not a such a witch kechasa. So therefore, in many sodas, Vikata Katangato, he is a bandana hound and hound, hound and hound, never, never such a. He definitely can say it's a true. He desired it is a true. He never think about it is true or not. So, in the qualities of Sotapanna is mentioned in this way, Vikata Katangato, Visara Chapato, he is never, uh, he, he has never fearful, he is never be, he is never fearful about the Dharma, he knows the ways correctly. So, that's uh, now we have a studies. Uh, how many Jeda Sikas? Now we have a study is about 27. Okay? We have a study 27 Jeda Sikas. So, through these Jeda Sikas, how to classify the Jeda? I will roughly explain, okay? To get. After that, Patana also I will give. Patana also I will explain. But I will explain it in an easy way, don't worry about it. <laughs> There's an easy way. We must approach easy way. Because we must study Akusala. Oh, I will give you, through the books, you have the fundamental of according to the books and we get more easier to understand, okay? I hope you read these books. So, uh, probably I will explain 24, page number 24. Through Chitasika, Chita is a classic, classifying 
Therefore, I deal with the Chetasika fast. Akusala twelve. Okay? Akusala means contradiction of Kusala. That is the meaning. Opposite of Kusala. Kusala means a meritorious wholesome or moral. So Akusala is demeritorious, unwholesome or immoral. All types of Akusala are with the form. That is the nature of Akusala. All Akusala are with the form bring about ill or bad result. That is the nature. Okay? All Akusala. This is definitely we say all Akusala never, never bring about a good result. That is the nature. Akusala consciousness is classified into three, three types of I mean, So it is a root, according to root. So roots, roots are not others' mental state. We have a study already about the study. I have explained about these. What are the root? Loba, dosa, moha. These are the root of akusala. Therefore, loba, mula, mula means root. So loba mula means attachment rooted consciousness. Consciousness which is rooted in attachment. That is what I mean. Dosa mula, consciousness uh, rooted in hatred. Moha mula, consciousness rooted in hatred. So according to Chetasika, akusala cheta is classified into three. So without knowing all lower dosa moha, so you shouldn't notice lower dosa moha are not cheta, they are chetasika. Through these chetasika, cheta is classified. Okay? So lower dosa moha, according some cheta is rooted in lower, it's called lower mula cheta. Some cheta is rooted in dosa, this cheta is called dosa mula. Some chaitas are rooted in moha. This chaita is moha mula, according to these. So lava mula, so lava mula chaitas, according to uh, consciousness, and that is rooted in attachment, is lava mula. All types of lava mula are the same in the natures of craving. According to characteristic, all are the same, but it is divided into uh, eight, according to feeling, association, promptitude. Uh, that is uh, how Loba Mula Chaita is classified. Classif- classification system is very simple. You see, Loba Mula consciousness is a twofold by means of feeling. Like that, we must apply. Everybody experiences Loba, something we want the beautiful things that we want to see. Okay? Sweet sound, sweet sound. What music we want to listen. At that time, sometimes feeling is cannot be always the same. Sometimes our feeling is pleasant feeling. Sometimes because of common to us, such a music, such a scenery is common to us. At that time, not pleasant feeling arises. I think for those, the persons who first arrived in Sakai, on seeing Sakai Hills, he may be happy or she may be happy first time. But after here, one retreat, two retreat, yearly visit, not so surprised, not so <laughs> excited. Isn't that? Like that, Loba Mula's feelings are two present feeling and indifferent feelings. We stay long and no, no different feelings. So, Loba Mula Jaita is when we classify it into two according to feeling. That is the meaning. Then we have it, different religious backgrounds, different the idea backgrounds, different circumstances we are born in human, as a human beings. Different place, different circumstances. Different view, different backgrounds we have. Therefore, if it's some one view is correct, the other view is not correct. Not all views are correct. So maybe some people hold a wrong view, some people have not a wrong view. 
So, when lava arises depending on round view, some people say lava arises not depending on round view, that's not a concern of round view. Yes, according to some religion, because of religious, religious, his religion, his religion teaches to kill animal, to sacrifice. Some religions teach like that, to sacrifice, killing the beings. So that is according to religious beliefs, he killed animals. So, like that, depending on religious belief, not depending on religious belief, loba arises. So, two feelings multiplied by with the round view or without the round view. So, two multiplied by into four. We get four. Then, our middle state, some some, sometimes our mental situations need to prompt it, promptitude. Sometimes not need to prompt. Sometimes hesitate, sometimes honest. That is also depending on cause and conditions. When weather is very good, food is very good, we are so active sometimes. Sometimes we are lazy because our weather is not good. Depending on circumstances. Sometimes you see, when the time is announced by beaten drum or bells, we are unwilling to go there. Unwilling, unwilling to attend the class, unwilling to go to the Dhamma talk. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes it's so active, earlier we arrived there. So, mental situations are different, depending on circumstances and cause and condition. So Lava Mula Chaitas, according to two conditions, different conditions, four multiplied by two, Lava Mula Chaitas become eight. So the church is explained the following is how Lava Mula can be divided into eight times. With the pleasant feeling, with the neutral feeling, with the wrong view, without wrong view, promptitude, without promptitude, with the promptitude. So, in this way, Lova Mula Chaita is classified into eight. So, you can count the Lova Mula Chaita according to using these four, three column, three column chart. So, with the pleasant feeling, with the wrong view, without the promptitude, this one time. With the pleasant feeling, consciousness with the pleasant feeling, with the wrong view, with the promptitude, this is second. It's okay? Second. Then, with the pleasant feeling, without wrong view, without promptitude, and with the promptitude. All together, with the pleasant feeling, it's four. The same thing with the natural feeling, with the wrong view, without promptitude, and with the promptitude, two. With the natural feeling, without the wrong view, with the promptitude, and with the promptitude. If you count it in this way, four, eight lava mula chaitas are easily can get. This is a mathematic way is a bit of mathematically explained. So this is bas- this is a basically classification. So one of the eight lava mula chaitas arises with us, not all together eight, one times, only one possible in one uh, within us. Only one Lava Mula Chaita. When this Lava Mula Chaita arises at that time, associated Chaita Sikas must be different association. Because of Chaita Sikas are different, different association, therefore, men are of Chaita also different. It's okay. So let me break. So now I know.